Did you know that posting at the wrong time on YouTube could be the reason that your posts keep dying out and they're flopping? Or maybe you didn't know that literally posting the same exact piece of content one hour early or one hour later could be the difference between your post flopping or your post going viral. Well, don't worry, because by the end of this video, you're gonna know the three best times to be posting on YouTube right now, but I do wanna warn you. The last time I'm gonna share with you is by far the most important and makes the most shorts creators go viral. In fact, this creator just implemented these three new times and they were able to gain over 30,000 subscribers in just a 30 day period. And this creator was able to do the same thing except they gained over 50,000 followers. And the same exact thing can happen to you, but all you have to do is implement the new best times to be posting on YouTube. The first best time slot is going to be from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Now I know what you're thinking, Rob, that's great, but what time zone should I be posting in? And does this depend on my niche or does my niche have absolutely nothing to do with this? So you're going to want to be posting at this time slot for when your ideal audience is going to be online. So if you're on the East Coast and your audience is on the West Coast, you're going to want to do 7 to 11 p.m. on the West Coast. Or if you're on the East Coast and your audience is in Europe, you're going to want to post at that time slot in Europe. Or if you're in Europe trying to reach people in the United States, that's the time zone that you're going to want to be posting in because you're going to want to make sure that you're actually increasing the odds of YouTube pushing out your content to the right people because one of the worst things that can happen is you post on YouTube, YouTube seeds that piece of content, which by the way is what they do, with the wrong audience and boom, your post ends up flopping, not because the post was bad, but because you posted at the wrong time. And whether or not this depends on your niche, well, it might. And when I say it might, I mean that if your ideal audience is busy or they're asleep or they're doing something at the time that you're posting, it's not going to be the ideal time to post because of how YouTube actually seeds an audience with a piece of content. If you don't know how this works, let me break it down for you easily. The reason that your videos get stuck at 250 to 3000 views is because that's the size of a seed audience that YouTube is going to push your content to. So essentially what happens, you upload something on YouTube, it gets pushed to that seed audience, depending on how many people swipe away and with the average view duration is from those individuals determines whether or not your content continues to get pushed out. So you understand now why your niche may play a factor in this because if the people within your niche aren't on YouTube when you upload and they're not in that seed audience, you're not going to get the metrics you need for your post to get pushed out. Or you might be posting at the wrong time slot because there are two other time slots that you need to be focused on. But first, I need to make sure that you're actually posting your content in the right format. Lucky for you, today's video sponsor HubSpot just released a 2023 social media trends report and I strongly suggest that you go down to the pin comment below and download it right now 100% free. And this report's gonna tell you the seven best formats that you should be posting in for social media right now. Because if you don't know what kind of format you should be putting your posts in to reach your ideal audience, you're gonna wanna make sure that you download this report so that you can figure it out. And my favorite part about this report is that they not only give you formats for educational content, but they also give you formats for entertaining content because they understand that you might not be trying to educate people, but you might be trying to entertain them and make them laugh. So they're gonna give you the best format for your content. HubSpot helps me stay up to date on what's trending on social media and you should use them also to stay ahead of the curve when it comes to what formats you should be using and so many other things that you're going to find in that social media trends report. What are you waiting for? Go to the pinned comment below, download the report 100% for free right now so that you know what format you should be creating your posts in. The second time slot that you need to make sure that you're testing is two to 4 p.m. Now I will warn you, this time slot typically doesn't perform as good as the first one and the last one that I'm about to share with you, but I did want to include it in there because I still do think that you should be testing this time slot because you might find that there's actually an imbalance in the supply and demand in content for your niche at this specific time, which is why you should make sure that you're testing it. On top of that, the best times to post are constantly changing because of seasonality and because of people changing their lives. For example, we're in September right now. Most people are back to school. The holidays are going to be coming up. That's going to mean people are out of school, people are out of work, or that people go on vacation. So guess what ends up happening? The best time for you to be posting ends up changing, which is why you should be putting out 80% of your posts during the time slot that does the best out of the three that I'm gonna share with you. And just as a reminder, the last one I'm gonna share makes by far the most small channels on YouTube go viral. But you wanna get out those other 20% of posts during off time slots just to make sure that you're you're always testing and you're always staying ahead of the curve. 
Now, like I promised for you earlier, you also need to make sure that your content is hitting the right metrics because you could post at the right time, but if you're not hitting the right metrics when it comes to that swipe rate and the amount of time that people are actually spending watching your content, that could also be one of the reasons that you're failing to get the views that you want. So when it comes to your swipe rate, you need to get that less than 20%, which means you need over 80% of people actually watching your content. The way that you're gonna find this is you're gonna go into your YouTube studio, you're gonna go into a specific short, and if you go under reach and scroll down a little bit, you will see the amount of people that chose to view or you'll see the amount of people that chose to swipe. And essentially, if that swipe rate is too high, your content's not going to get pushed out. And the only way that you can counteract it is by adding in three things. One, a hook into your content. Two, a compelling voiceover into your content. Or three, text on the screen, some kind of image or some video that makes people want to watch the rest of the video. But more importantly, you need to make them need to watch the rest of the video by really hitting on a psychological trigger that's going to increase the odds that they watch your content. But you can do all of that, but if your average view duration isn't right, well then guess what? YouTube isn't gonna push out your content. So what you need to be focused on here, if your video is less than 30 seconds long, you need to be aiming for 100% average view duration. If your video is over 30 seconds long, you need to be aiming for at least 80%. The closer that you're able to get to those metrics, the better off your post is going to be, and it's going to increase the odds that your post doesn't die off on YouTube after six hours or 12 hours, but instead you continue to get views. And for some people, you'll continue to get views for years to come on a short that you made years ago. In fact, I have so many shorts that I made months ago that are still getting four to 5,000 views every single day and the same thing can happen to you. But there are two other things that I did wanna share with you before I tell you the best time that you should be posting. That is one, that if you have a one out of 10 video on YouTube Shorts, I would wait at least 24 hours before you end up posting again. And secondly, if you make a post about a topic that you know does well and it flops, you should do another version of that topic. In fact, YouTube's employees literally tell you to do this. They say that you shouldn't delete the video and re-upload the video, but instead you should be creating a new version of that piece of content on the same topic with a different hook, different content, Content and a different title and make sure that you're posting it at the best time. Which brings me to the final best time to post, which is going to be from 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. The reason for this, a lot of people are busy, but there's also still a lot of people watching content on YouTube. So if you're able to post during this time, you could take advantage of the flip-flop in demand and supply, and this is going to lead to an increased amount of views that you're getting. But I will warn you, if you're using the wrong amount of hashtags or the wrong hashtags for your specific niche, it's going to kill the amount of views that you get no matter what time you post. So please, check out this video right here so that you can know the best hashtag strategies to use on YouTube right now to ensure that you get more views. What are you waiting for? I'll see you over there.